Hello, good morning and welcome to the United Stand. It's our Manchester United transfer daily update. Let's start off straight away with Schneidlin. If you ever heard of The Secret Footballer, he wrote a book a few years ago and he is The Secret Footballer. The most redundant role in football now because footballers do tend out to come and, and say what they think, don't they? But The Secret Footballer still exists. He's come out and called the 22 million fee for Schneidlin ridiculous and that you can get somebody far better for, le for 5 million less than that. Do we care? Do we act? You know, 22 million for Schneidlin and another 2 million if he plays quite well, makes it 24 million, which is effectively what we paid for him in the first place. It's a fantastic deal. And I think this is what you get when you get Jose Mourinho in charge. The transfers in general, whether it's ins or out, improve drastically. As I said last night, we would have sold Schneidlin normally for a packet of wine gums and a post-it note. But we took 22 million, what we paid for him. Absolutely fantastic for what essentially is a Manchester United flop who's done very little for two years for us to hold on to that value is fantastic. Yes, there's inflation in football. Yes, there's more money in football than there was even 18 months ago when we signed him. But to get that 22 million back is fantastic bit of uh, wheeler dealing, bartering, whatever you want to call it. It's good business because I think we all expected if we got 15 million back, we'd be ecstatic. Uh, Schneidlin, just not ultimately good enough for Manchester United. Southampton quality player, but not Manchester United quality, which I'm going to come back to in a minute because I've seen a load of live comments, a uh, load of comments on the video we did last night saying United quality is a myth. It isn't, and I'll explain it to you, those who are uh, trying to radicalise Manchester United quality and make out it's not true. It must be true, it is true, and it will not die, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Memphis, uh, let's talk about Memphis. Talkie might stay, talkie might go. If he goes, Manchester United want 15 million, which is odd when you think that Schneiderlin, 22 million, it's quite odd, but um, that, that's effectively what we want for him. Um, I think we paid about 25 to 27 for, for uh, uh, Memphis, didn't we? So to get 15 million back is a bit disappointing, but ultimately this is a flop, isn't it? So if you're saying that we're going to get 40 million back for Schneider and Memphis, that's not too much, a 10 million loss on two flops. But Memphis could still stay. Memphis could still stay, so we'll see what happens with that. I think ultimately it's been a bit of a disappointing January transfer window. I'd like to see United sign at least a centre-back or a right-back. Um, I still think we will, but in general, I think it's a bit of a waste of time, isn't it? Nobody's really uh, stepped up and made any decent signings. It's always very difficult in January. You sort of have to make do with what you've got. But Manchester United can be quite relaxed about it, and I think this is why we've got a good deal for Schneidlin. You're always in a position of strength when you, um, when, when you sign in people who are... Um, when you're signing people who are brought in, when, you, when you're signing people, sorry, we're meant to be live and it's not live, I don't know why it keeps doing this. Um, when you're signing people who are meant to be, um, when you're signing, oh God, get this out. So I give up. When you're signing people, but you're playing well, it's easier to sell people because you're doing really well and um, you're in a position of strength. Uh, if we were in the position we were a month ago, and things weren't going well, I think we'd struggle to get the fee that we've just got for Schneiderlin, but we're not. So uh, that works quite well as well. Um, talk about United quality then very quickly. Uh, Manchester United quality, of course it exists. I know where this is coming from. It's because Marin Fellaini got an, uh, a goal last night and, uh, you know, suddenly, you know, even Jose, um, this is one thing I disagree with Mourinho about. His obsession with Fellaini is wrong. Um, he's come out with the normal ego stuff to last night saying, oh, he had a... It, it's, it's it's just it's just deserved. He's such an important player to me. I told I told the fans I'd prove them wrong. This comes on the back of an amazing game against Reading. Um, I was thinking, when did we play Reading? That and Fellaini played amazing. Oh, the weekend game. Oh, Fellaini played in that game, did he? And and Fellaini was amazing against Reading, a Championship side. Well, he wasn't amazing. He was he was okay. And champion and Reading were poor, and they're a Championship side. So I'm not having that. He brought him on for the last ten minutes of a game. Peter Crouch would have done what Fellaini did. That's what Fellaini is. He's Peter Crouch. He's an option off the bench. He's a tall option off the bench to put into the box. I'm not buying into this whole Fellaini's the saviour, Fellaini's Manchester United class and all this rubbish. He's a Peter Crouch option off the bench that we've not... But what we have been doing for the last few years is playing Peter Crouch in the midfield as an, or as a holding midfielder. That's where it's been going wrong. So a few people were messaging me last night saying, I'd like to know where you think Fellaini was playing last night, Mark, because uh, he's not done... He's just... He's a great player and he's not doing anything different. Well, there's a massive difference because we were playing him off Rashford as a number 10 yesterday and he was predominantly in the opposition's box. That's where Fellaini can cause damage. Put him in the, our box and he'll cause damage like he did against Everton uh, the wrong way. So 
yeah, he's a Peter Crouch off, option off the bench. I'm not buying into this. Oh, he's, you know, he's a really important player. He's a fantastic player. And I'm certainly not buying into the fact that he's United quality. United quality does exist. I can't believe that fans are actually saying there's no such thing as United quality. It's a myth. Don't listen to me. Read Sir Alex Ferguson's book. There's, an, there's a section in there about Brian Kidd asking that they should sign John Hartson. That explains what United quality is. Sir Alex Fer Ferguson, the best manager there's ever been, explains it quite well. And essentially it comes down to this. To be a Manchester United player, you've got to do three or four things. You've got to have the passion and pride to wear the shirt, which in fairness, Fellaini isn't far off with that. But you've also got to have the quality. And to, to be saying there's no such thing as United quality is really quite radical, naive and ignorant of the club that you supposedly support to those people who are saying it. Sorry, I'm going to be quite frank because it's also stupid. You know, I don't normally say that, but it's stupid. We've just, we just sold a player for £22 million. And we're selling him because he's not United quality. He's probably going to go to Everton and do quite well. He did quite well at Southampton. I'm talking about Morgan Schneidlin. But at the big club, biggest club in the country, where you've got to be more than just an OK player, you've got to actually take, wear that shirt and your ability, sometimes you've got to stand up and do it on your own. You know, you look at every United player that does well, there'll be games where we rely on them and they take on that shirt with pride, passion and most of all ability that's what it's all about. Pride and passion isn't enough to be United quality. Absolute rubbish. If pride and passion was enough to, to be United quality, I'd be playing for United up front and not as Latan. The reason I'm not playing for United up front is because I've got more pride and quality, and more, I've got more quality than Zlatan. I've got more in pride and passion for a Manchester United shirt than Zlatan has. That's because I support Manchester United. That's because you support Manchester United and we have all our lives and, we, and, we, and we're passionate about it. I don't have the quality though. You've got to have the quality and there is a Manchester United quality and that quality is winning title quality, week in, week out pressure, week in, week out being able to go to grounds where teams will play you like it's their cup final. This is what Manchester United quality is. Every week, Manchester United, for, the, for my whole life, you go away, you go and play someone like West Ham, Watford. They might have played Arsenal the week before and, tried, and had a go and got absolutely stuffed. But when Manchester United roll into town, it's the effort levels go up by 50%. They're focused, it's their cup final. And that is why people like Schneidlin won't shine. Because when you play for someone like Southampton, you roll up at West Ham, you're just Southampton. Their, left, their effort levels are not there. It's like, you know, they fancy their chances. It's an open game. And you look a good player. But when you've got to play against teams each week who are up for it and playing at their optimum levels, if you're not a better, if you're not a better than player than them at their optimum levels, you're going to get exposed. And that's what happens. And that's what Manchester United quality is. You've got to have that big game quality and you've got to have it consistently. You know, it's all right. You know, Ashley Young, I always said about Ashley Young, five times a season, he plays like he's Lionel Messi. 45 times of the season, he's just bang average. And that's Ashley Young for you. You know, that's why he's not a first team player for United because you've got to do it or try to do it every week. And that's where Rooney's gone over the last few years. The consistency's gone. When he plays well, he's good. But you've got to have that consistency. And there is something called Manchester United quality. And I think it's actually, I don't know where these fans who say there's no such thing about it, it's a myth. Come get are going with it. It's actually quite, oh God, it's actually quite insulting uh, to say it. So, there is something like that. And if there wasn't, we'd be signing people like, God knows, Joey Barton, because he's had a good season. You know, Danny Ings, people like that. There's certain players who pay for Manchester United. There's certain players who shouldn't. That doesn't mean we haven't made those signings. Schneiderlin's one. Sir Alex made a few. But um, they'll be found out. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Speak to you all very soon. And I hope you have a good day. And we'll be live again at half past eight tonight. Please get comments in the comment section because I've not made up my mind what I want to do tonight. So give us some ideas. The preview's tomorrow.